Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mr. Ron Stanley. Thank you. Truly an honor to be here tonight in this capacity. Truly grateful to be inducted here in the Saginaw County Sports Hall of Fame. I want to say thank you to all my family and friends for coming out tonight, supporting me. It's truly an honor and a blessing to have you all in my life. As I reflect on my career in sports, I realize that I've done some really extraordinary things. Genesis 12 and 2 says, And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and you will be a blessing. I am grateful to stand before you today among such great company. Congratulations again to all the 2015 inductees, as well as those past and those to come. Sports has been a major part of my life since I was a child. Growing up, all I wanted to ever do was work as hard as I can at whatever I was doing, all to make my parents proud. I wanted to be sure that I represented the name Stanley well. I never dreamed of playing college football, or even for that reason, professional. But as I woke up each day, I prepared myself to be the best. I prepared myself to be great. And it was that work ethic that I developed growing up and that leader's mentality that I gained over the years that drove me to the next level. And because of that, my accomplishments quickly began to turn into dreams. And here I am today, standing before you as a Saginaw County Hall of Famer. There was a lot of highs and lows along the way. People doubted me. When I was a junior in high school, I remember turning down a job from GM because the work hours conflicted with the time that I had to be at football practice. My teacher was upset with me for not accepting that job in, the, in my reason for it. He told me to my face that I should take my computer drafting class and my education more serious because I'll never stand a chance at making it in sports. Well, I did take his advice, and I earned my college degree, and I also did what I wanted to do, and I made it all the way to the NFL. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Engineering Teacher. <laughs> there are also other countless people that were influential in my sports success. I want to say thank you to my parents, Ronald and the late Janet E. Stanley, for raising me up in Christ and teaching me values for generations to come. My mother-in-law, Emma Edwards, for filling the void of a mother that I no longer have. My siblings, Larry, Malcolm, and Daisha, for all the fights we had that made me tough. But, at the same time, taught me how to love even when I was angry. All my teammates, my opponents, and coaches. Special thanks to Coach Al Pipkins, Jesse Loomis, Coach Al Tinsley, Weber Middle, Coach Reggie Robinson, Saginaw Pride AAU, Coach Don Durrett, Saginaw High, and the entire Saginaw High football coaching staff. Coach Marshall Thomas, Saginaw High Basketball. Coach Bobby Williams, Michigan State Football. Coach John L. Smith, Michigan State Football. 
Coach Bill Cower, Pittsburgh Steelers, and Coach Mike Tomlin, Pittsburgh Steelers. All of these individuals were very influential in my sports career. They gave me chances and opportunities that allowed me to stand here today. To the Saginaw County Sports Hall of Fame board and officers, thank you guys. The Castle Museum and Mr. Bud Butler, my liaison for this event, thank you. To my pastors, Bishop Ronald and Phyllis Chip, thank you guys for being a blessing and for your labor of love towards all. Thanks to God, because he authored this story and he continued to write it. To my wife, Anisha, and my daughter, Sinai, you guys are my drive now. And I live each day to be the best for you. So again, after reflecting on my career in sports, I realize that I've done some really extraordinary things, which is why I'm honored to stand before you today as a Saginaw County Sports Hall of Famer and say, I am great. Thank you.